Yo, what is good, Wildcats? We are back here for another episode of Wii TV. That's right. You already know we got content planned for you. So, you know, make sure you pay attention to Cat Tracks. Mm -hmm. Don't be on your phone. You shouldn't be on your phones anyway. And, uh, yeah, get your schoolwork done. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Do all your schoolwork, and let's see what this episode has in store for us. Let's roll it. Do you know what this next segment's about? I think it's trivia with the JROTC. Oh, yeah, I think so. Let's find out. Let's see it. What's going on, everybody? It's Nick J, and welcome to the JROTC game show that we've had prepared for the longest time for you guys. All right, we're here with two amazing contestants from our JROTC here at Clear Creek. Introduce yourselves. Is that Lieutenant Colonel C. Is that Sergeant Z. All right, y'all ready for some great questions? Who do you think's going to win? You, you think you're going to win? You think you're going to? Oh, you don't think you're going to win? Yeah, no, he's a newbie. Oh, you're going to win? No, he's a newbie. He's a newbie? He's all right, we're going to see what they're talking about. All right, if y'all are ready, let's get straight into it. All right, we're here with contestant number one. Here's the first question. What does JROTC stand for? So JROTC stands for Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. <clears throat> Next question. Ne what is the purpose of JROTC? To motivate young people to, to be better citizens. What does ACSU stand for? So ACSU stands for Army Cadet Service Uniform. Army Combat Something Uniform. Wait, is that right? Wrong. You're canceled. You're done. How did you He's get that wrong? How did <laughs> you get that wrong? Whoa! Whoa! All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished our trivia with both contestants. Our winner is contestant number one. Yes, sir. Contestant number oh with the back foot. <laughs> contestant number one is our winner out here. Now, the loser is contestant number two, and our loser has to do a loser dare. All right, our dare for you, 15 push-ups, 15 push-ups. Give us 15 on the floor. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. 15. <laughs> and give a big round of applause for both of our contestants, ladies and gentlemen. We had a segment showing off some of the AP's rooms and what they do. We did. And today we're going we to be showing you all a few more of them. And where they That's are. Right. So let's see it. And where they are. So Hi, let's see I'm it. Serena Blacksmith and I'm the associate principal here at Clear Creek High School. I'm located in D230. This is Miss Watkins' wall, and she put up a selfie wall. So if you are interested in coming and taking a selfie or having a friend come take a selfie with you, Miss Watkins is my administrative assistant, and she is located here and in the E200s. Come on in, and I'll show you our office. This is Miss Watkins' location. So this is my loft office. So I have some information here. We have motivational books um, on culture and just things that are associated with schools. Here is a picture from my previous campus, Clear Falls, the administrative team. We have my family area where my daughter decorated some pictures. And then we have the master schedule board. We have it electronic and we also have it up there. I am over uh, trunk or treat. We also, I'm over safety drills. So the drills that you will be participating in this year, I coordinate those. This is my working area, my motivational posters. And that's about it. <laughs> All right, what's good, guys? Here on WeTV today, we're thinking about going to check out the AP, see what here in EPOD, what Mr. Boyd may be doing today. So let's go have a look. Good afternoon, Mr. Boyd. What's up, guys? Y'all good? Hello. All right. Well, how are we feeling today? Been good. Been, Been good. good day. Been busy for these first few weeks of school? Has been, but it's a good busy. Long as there's respect there, you'll get it from me. Okay, well, I'm yeah. glad to hear it. Well, I see we're here in your new uh, new room here. Got my SFA, got my my Astro stuff. Apparently my keyboard's a hit. Got that old. That's that's for sure. What's the story behind the rainbow it keyboard? It was a gift actually. Uh, and I love the sound that it makes. And Feels like it just looks cool. It is what it is. I get you. Well, yeah. we appreciate your time. We appreciate Thank getting you. to see you today. Thank you. We hope to, you know, maybe come by again sometime. Sounds good. All Don't right. Do the right thing out you there. too. You 
Welcome to the B100 pod. I'm Mrs. LaFoy. Let me show you around the pod. First, we have a map of the United States. That's because I used to teach US history and it was my favorite subject. Over here, because this is the world languages and cultures pod, these are the languages that we teach at Clear Creek High School. Because we're in the world languages and cultures pod, I have several pictures of my team, all of the world languages and cultures teachers and their travel pictures because I do love to travel. Come on back to my office. So I have a lot of things in my office that tell you about me. I have the pictures of my children. They're the most important thing to me, of course. I also have the world globe. Again, world languages and cultures and my world history. My absolute favorite thing is my Harry Potter box, especially the painting of Hogwarts because I actually painted that and I'm not a good painter. Here, you can see other pictures of my family. I'm pretty much a kid at heart. I have a turkey and a cat. My mom gave me this my first year as a teacher, which was way, way back when. Over here on the wall is a picture of my dog paddle boarding because I do love water. Near it, on it, whatever. One of my favorite things to do is to paddle board with my dog. I love to hike, so I have my national parks. Star Wars is another great love. So I have my BB-8 and my R2-D2. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you come and visit me anytime you need me in the B100 pods. Don't forget, if you want to start a club or organization or if you want to see what clubs we have. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so we got Miss Richardson. If you could introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Miss Richardson. I am the assistant principal for HF through MG, and I'm located here in the C100 pod. Now, if you can give us a tour of your office. Okay, I see this is my little kitchenette right here, okay? You know, gotta heat up my lunch, gotta keep my little lunch over here, keep my little water situated, got my desk. Got a lot of things on my desk because I got a lot of situations I'm working through right now, but I had to straighten it up, you know, just a little bit. This is my little space though. This is kind of, as you can see, the color pink. You got a thing for pink. Pink, that's my color, okay? I like to be pink, okay? But I got the rose gold pink thing going on, so that's me. Like I said, I'm Miss Richardson. If you need anything, I'm always here in the C100s. All right, thank you, Miss Richardson. You have a blessed day, all right? As of late, the courtyard has been left neglected. If this continues, the courtyard will shut down forever. forever. No one wants that. Come on, guys, pick up your trash. Even the teachers are getting involved. One in four grades don't pick up their trash after lunch. We know who you are. Do your part. All in a day's work. Logan, do you have the Lexi shows coming up soon? No. What's the Lexi show? Find out. I guess so. Now, here's a little story I got to tell. Drop! Hi. We're the League of Extraordinary Improvisers. Also known as Lexi. And we have an improv show coming up. On the That's not right. The <laughs> <laughs> On the 23rd. Here's a sneak peek about what Lexi's all about. Tell him ask him what you want. <coughs> Food, feed me, I'm a lion, man. Oh, uh, I would like, uh, <laughs> uh, can I get a number one with fries, please? <laughs> uh, can I get a number two? <laughs> what do I enjoy most about performing improv? I feel like what I personally benefit from most is trying th new things and getting out of my comfort zone. What's so special and beautiful about Lexi is that I'm able to get vulnerable and try those new things and get out of my comfort zone in a space where I know that everyone behind me is going to root for me and support me and back me up. It looks like they know exactly what they want. Do I think performing improv is easy? I th let me tell you this. Doing improv is easy. I think performing improv is hard. Get the girls. You've got to practice the swag walk. I, I got, I got, keep this. Oh my God. <laughs>
What can the audience expect from an improv show? They can expect um, laughter. Yo, check out my punk. And fun. Look at the children. Oh, yummy. And losing all of their marbles all over the auditorium. There's something in my eye. Oh, I'll get it. Is there a theme in the improv show and can the audience participate? That's a really good question, actually. We're doing a prehistoric theme for our show. And how you can participate, you can either come dressed up, you know, we're gonna have some audience participation. So if you wanna make some of our little, little quirks prehistoric, you could do that too. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget, come to our show the 23rd at seven. Tickets are free, donations are welcome. Very. All right, so for this next segment, we're going to be showing you who the Teacher of the Month is. Do you know who it is, Nick? Nope. Well, neither do I. So I guess let's see who it is. Yep. My name is Jennifer Alcla, and I teach theater arts here at Clear Creek High School. I've been teaching theater here at Creek for five years, but I've been teaching theater for 26 years. My most rewarding moment here at Clear Creek High School was the day that I watched my cast from Big Fish take the stage at Tommy Toons. I got to watch it from backstage for rehearsals. I was just beaming with pride because they worked really, really hard to get there. And to see them on that big stage in all their glory was one of the most rewarding moments of my career. I think I got Teacher of the Month because I have taken a different stance with my theater department this year. We are promoting positivity. And so I am telling the kids that um, we're trying to focus on being grateful and being positive versus all the negative things that go on in our world. We already have enough of that in the news. So for here, this moment, when we're here living in theater, we're, we're gonna live in the present and the positive, and I think it's changed my department for the better. My favorite thing about Ms. Alcala is how supportive she is and how she really cares about each one of her students, and she always wants the best for us, and she encourages us daily. My favorite thing about Ms. Alcala is just the amount of time she spent helping develop us as adults and how to succeed in the future. And also the amount of time she's developed herself into you know, becoming that like, like teacher to help us grow and become the better people that we are today. Could we ask you a quick question? What's up? What's your favorite segment on WeTV? Man on the street. Man on the street. All right, well that's what we're gonna see. Yo. Yo. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Hey, what's going on, bro? We TV in the making. What's your name, bro? Uh, D man. Everybody. Come. I see you got the little jersey on. You a Wildcat player, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what position you play? Wide right receiver, man. Wide right receiver. And y'all scheduled today. Who y'all playing today? Uh, Chenerview, man. Y'all gonna come out with the win? Yeah, you already know that. You already know that. You already know that. What's What's your favorite part about like playing football, especially in front of a home crowd? Uh, the student section. Student section. We're gonna get lit. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia, you play volleyball, right? Yes. You play tonight? Yes. Are you guys going to, going to win? Yeah. Who you guys play? Uh, Brazoswood. Brazoswood, huh? Brazoswood game, come support. Yeah, come support, bro. Well, I might go. You should go. You sh I should? Yeah. You're going to see me. All right, I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. I got a question of the day, all right? Is it diaphragm or diaphragm? Diaphragm. Diaphragm? That's three. You got one? No, Logan on my team, too. That's two. I got two. I got two. Okay. Is it diaphragm or diaphragm? Diaphragm. Diaphragm? That's three. Diaphragm. Diaphragm? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. Frame? That's, the, that's what, four? Diaphragm. It's diaphragm. Diaphragm. We at, I'm at six? Diaphragm. Boom. That's another one right there. <laughs> yes, yeah, diaphragm. It's just a dare. Dare. Buy your own food. No. Bruh. It's your first year, right? Yep. How do you like Creek? I love it. Great. You love it? Yep. Do you love school? Yeah. It's awesome, right? Yep. Now, what do you like about school so far? I honestly just, uh, I like, uh, you know, the the people and the, like the, the courtyard. I think that's really cool. Courtyard? Yeah. Yeah, when I first came in, the courtyard was a big piece of high school for me. It's really cool. Now, are you, like, involved in any sports or programs? Uh, I'm involved in, like, marching band and, like, marching I'm band. doing engineering, so. Engineering. Do you play the drums or like what I instrument play do you play? I the sousaphone. Sousaphone? It's like a tuba. It's like the big uh, thing that. Oh, like, the wear. overhead. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, look, man. It was cool talking to you. You take care, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, homecoming's coming up next week, and it there's is. a lot you need to know to make sure you had the best time possible. Uh huh. 
And that's what this clip is going to show you. It's going to show you pretty much what homecoming is if you don't already know. And it's going to give you a little recap about last year. Let's see it. You should usually bring like $20 to $30 for homecoming, I think. I think max definitely $50, because if you end up paying for like $50 worth of tickets at the very beginning, and then you don't use all that, all those tickets, you can't get them refunded. Mostly just about $20 to $30, that way you have enough money for food and you can do all the events and games and stuff. Mums are a huge thing, mostly for girls, but guys can do garters too. So freshmen have one flower on their mom, sophomores have two flowers on their mom, juniors have three, and all the underclassmen plus the juniors. Typically you wear maroon colors and Crete colors for your mom, and seniors get to go all out. If you're a senior, you should just go all out for your mom. And there's overalls for seniors. You can decorate your overalls along with your mom, and then the seniors will be all seniored out. A lot of food being sold at homecoming is canes, there's barbecue sandwiches, there's a lot of snacks, like there's fried Oreos, there's a pickle stand, there's gonna be ice cream, just a bunch of food and snacks and stuff. So if you get tickets, you'll have lunch and snacks covered, but I think regular lunch is also served that day. King and Queen nominees will happen during your cat tracks and you get to vote for, I think it's four King and Queen um, options. And then at the homecoming game on Friday the 29th, then the King and Queen will be announced out on the field live. Dress up days have not been released yet for homecoming. However, whatever they are, please dress up. You are going to be the odd one out if you don't dress up. It is super fun and student council put a lot of work into deciding these days and it's super fun to do. For the parade, the parade is September 27th. It's the Wednesday before homecoming and it's where just a bunch of organizations come and they get to have a little float. Usually they're just on a truck or on a car and they go in the parking lot and they have a parade. A lot of them throw out candy and stuff. And then at the end of the parade, there's the candlelit pep rally, which student council runs. A lot of the football boys will speak at it and student council will talk at it and it'll just get you hyped, ready for homecoming.